humble ourselves in front of God. Whatever in us, we need to surrender to God. Just like, oh, of course, you young people, what is in your mind as young people is to choose your lifetime partner. Are going in that direction. But remember, to live is Christ. Hmm? To live is Christ. Huh? You will not follow what you want, but obey what God wants. Huh? You will never follow what you desire, but what God, what God wants for you. Because God has the good plan for you. According to Jeremiah 29:11, huh? I have that good plan which is for you. And that plan is not for you to, to suffer, but to give you peace and a good hope in the future. Um, what, what a good plan of God for us. Okay? And so, we need to follow and obey what God wants for us. Not what we want. Because, you know, for us, oh, sometimes we are uh, fun of looking on the outward, you know, outward beauty of a person. And that is normal to a uh, human like us. But God is looking to what? You see? We're very different. Huh? We're very different. God is looking to our hearts, not to the outward appearance. Huh? And so, remember God. Because uh, you need to be happy in the future. Somebody who is good looking, even though you know he is not the same way to you, he is not coming to Sabbath uh, wor worship because he is, uh, you know, uh, he is attending Sunday worship. Uh, you will still, you know, you will still uh, uh, pray for him. Why? fellowshipping together and you know God is giving us this message that to live is Christ hmm? and to die is gain so we have to die huh? okay. so Apostle Paul says I have to die daily huh? and if you will be dying daily then Anything which is negative uh, that you are doing, negative attitude, or maybe you have, you know, you are uh, um, having anger, uh, you are having some, uh, you know, disobedience, but you know, because God, you are living in Christ. And you are one thing that Christ gives in you, then you will die. Amen? Amen. And that is all gain. Huh? When you are now living like Christ, huh? because you are now you are now being uh, righteous and you are sanctified, then, my dear brothers and sisters, that's the message of young people telling us that you are now having that fitness to heaven. You are ready. Huh? 
Now, when God comes, you are very much ready. Okay? You could say, come now, Lord. Come now, Lord. Huh? We are excited to meet you. We are waiting for your son coming. But if you are still living in your selfishness, successful day, you want a happy day, and come to God in the opening of the day in the prayer. Commune with Him only. And to the bell of us triumph and Christian. And you will become ready. So instead of uh, instead of putting as you wake up your cell phones in front of you, listen. want successful education, then God will give you. Just seek His kingdom first. You want, you know, a happy marriage, then God will give you that happy marriage. Uh, you know, uh, you you want a wonderful boyfriend, you know, uh, somebody will, that will, will make you happy, then God could give you that. Uh, nothing is impossible with God. Huh? God will never fail. So I hope you will seek first every morning and his righteousness and all these things that you need shall be added and may God bless us all this. Yeah. Yeah.